explosives are just the guys we have involved. on the docket. Um, all right, both squad leaders, commands on. Uh, Sam, just try to connect, I think, with the Ron mod set because the tiger is in the Harambe mod set tomorrow, not today. I'm going to fix a hotkey issue real quick so I don't have the camera coming on while I'm working, even though I don't think there's I any. Can download that mod set. I forgot about that. I accidentally had both mod packs loaded. That's what my issue was. How? How? Because I forgot how to import mod lists, so I just had everything loaded in a Hail Mary attempt to load in. Panda, we have we have tutorials in the the Read First channel for this reason. Like, I it's been a while since I've played Armor, so I used to pressing import list and it'll import, but then it won't load the list. Because you're, you're importing it the wrong way. There's two import buttons. There's one that yeah, actually loads I, the mod set, and then the other that just downloads the mods. I discovered that last minute, and I'm like, oh, cool. Now I just gotta wait for armor to reload. <laughs> it's also bold of you to assume we read. I used the same import read, button rather. to the install mods. It's like mods 3 a.m. Do not expect me to read. Pushing us to map. I mean, there's a reason why the illiterate tag exists. More things change, and what if they the same? Hand is on his way to an illiterate tag. With the sign up stuff too. <laughs> He's close. It's 3 a.m. Give me a break. No, no breaks for you. <laughs> We're Soviets. We don't get to Speedy sleep. European is your fault, anyways. Okay. It's Australian. It's Australian. <laughs> it really I'm isn't, but okay. Damn. All right, we're all on. I know Sam was, uh, Sam, what's your ETA? I'm launching armor right now, so I can tell you seconds. All right. So here's the deal. Um, you guys are spawning at the vehicle breakdown area. I have the main base listed right here. I'm going to be honest for the sake of frames, just making sure everything's optimized. I deleted everything back there. There's no reason for you guys to go back there. Uh, because of the massive counterattack that happened in the previous operation, we believe that there are more of these creatures uh, in these areas here. So we sent a scouting group um, up ahead, uh, and they were able to send a runner back to state that they closed an additional hole around this location. However, there is another hole marked in the region. Uh, they also reported taking contact from this direction, so we believe there are more holes somewhere up there. Uh, so we have preemptively also uh, created over a supply drop that is marked on the map. Uh, your job is twofold. First, you are to move up and find this known hole and plug it if you can. Um, it might be plugged by that 10-man team. Now. Uh, it might not be, but we just have to make sure that uh, it is plugged before we advance to the supply drop area and then try to find additional ones uh, up north. Um, otherwise, the team that was sent on recon is using some uh, fast-moving cars, uh, some lend lease stuff from the Americans, some Willy Jeeps. Uh, so they'll be probably sticking to the road where they can. I think that's why they called us, because they don't want to go too deep into the forest and potentially lose those assets. So uh, that is what we're working with here. It's going to be a bit of a march. It's very cold, but hopefully you're all uh, dressed up for the occasion. Uh, otherwise, this is one life. If you get eaten, feel free to come and watch the stream. But I tested it to make sure that the, uh, despite the update, uh, all the ballistics are still the same and uh, everything should still be okay in that regard. Are there any questions? Question. Uh, regarding the question six. mark now. right there, uh, is that just like everything above this line? I don't know, or is it literally like. <laughs> Alright, so quick side note, Daz Daz, I've got your thing on the multi. If anyone else is streaming, you want to pass me the thing, just put it in the uh, team speak. Uh, the question marks represent we don't know, like in this area here, right. where stuff is. Cool. We're hoping cool. to consolidate with the recon team about that, but again, they told the runner they sent that they took contact from that direction, and then they had eyes on a hole somewhere in the northern area, but they were probably forced to pull back if they weren't able to take it out because they were able to take out the other one, which is marked. So we're just trying to figure out what's going on because uh, radios don't really work in the mountains. Right. Okay. Any other questions? 
Hmm. Sam on the server, I'm kind of stalling for him. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm here. Okay, cool. How cold is it? <laughs> Rather. <laughs> Quite cold. Alright. No, Bobby, get away from my car. No, no my car. You you had trucks, but they appear to have been broken down once again. Unreliable piece of shit. Mm -hmm. You can ignore that lag spike. That was me just reactivating Zeus because it bugged out. Ugh, because of course it did. Car. That should have been locked. I don't know why it is. It should have been locked for players at least. Go, go with your people. I'm here just to make sure you guys see this through. Commissar style. Uh, all right. Yeah, that lag spikes back. We're taking contact it. from the front, and we need to take out a hole. Uh, I want. One squad to cover and the other squad to fire. Is that is that good? You get that? Yeah, but specifically, I want uh, both the squad leaders to act as two groups, of course, uh, and just try to maintain cohesion. I just I don't want to get a repeat of the last time because we had a lot of people lagging behind. Don't worry, I will yell at you. Yeah, and uh, second thing. <laughs> All right. Hold on, I'm just sorting them real quick. I think this is a symbol because of male ABS. So if we untick vehicles and then do that, then it should be okay. Yep. All right, cool. Anyway, BJ, thank you for the 36 month reset. I get you a Golden Lance Corporal badge. Hope you keep doing the operations and hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. And Huggies, too. Thanks for gifting out this sub. It went to Tomer. Hope you both keep enjoying the ops. Hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. For whatever reason, when a melee item is put on a player, it's counted as a vehicle icon. I don't get it. It's just a really weird call. But yeah, no, those intermittent lag spikes, there's nothing I can do about that because that's a server side issue. Uh, what I have to do is I have to go contact our host provider because i that's what happened last time after two weeks of me trying everything. I'm like, hey, like, we have this issue. Do you know anything about it? And like, oh yeah, one it, second, we know exactly what it is. So I noticed it come back after the Arma update with Pog and I'm like, all right, I need to see if this is because of connections because they had a 30 player operation, which is much bigger than what Pog normally does around 20. Uh, but I'm seeing a few here as well, which means it's probably set to the server again. I saw one earlier. It looks like it's calmed down a little bit, but I think it's tied to other servers as well with uh, random desync bits, but we'll make things work. How's the venue hunting work? Uh, JY, I'm using this as escapism from that, all right? Uh, I'll let you know when I have good news. We'll go with that. Oh boy, hydrate. Uh, yeah, Alpha's in front, Bravo's behind. All right. We're moving, Bravo, let's go. So here's how I expect this operation to go. They're going to continue up the road. They're going to pass by the closed hole, which now. is right there. Sup, Leru, hard to believe it's been four years. Damn, little E2 mouse, that is a four-year resub that gets you the, I think, diamond badge. Actually, I can just look on the interface and see it. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for all your support, buddy. Hope you can join the operation. Hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Otherwise, recon team is right here. Vehicles are beaten up and locked and out of fuel. I decided to strip all the bodies. I left some of the magazines down, but I kind of stripped the bodies clean because I thought it would be funny. I also did not leave the machine gun, but I left a bunch of ammo for the machine gun because I don't want some chucklehead taking it because I'm a jerk. And then we've got another hole over here. They're going to have to debt, and then they're going to come up, get into this last stand position, and then there's three different holes here, which I am not going to let them plug uh, instead, we're going to try to recreate that last scene from the uh, Love, Death, and Robots episode. 
uh, which will also have the bomber, which I have prepped for... I had it prepped, but then I deleted it when I was trying to patch a few things, and, you know, oopsie, but I can just spawn one and then give it the infinite ammo script, and then we just bomb it to oblivion. So yeah, that's what we got right now. I'll give them some light contact once they uh, get past this little ridge up into here. We're going to be using uh, Necrophage's Doggos. Uh, <laughs> Necrophage mod and uh, specifically the stalkers in there. I like some of the doggos. Uh, if I feel like it, I'll also use some of the yeah. leapers. Because literally, if we took the arms of the leapers, not the leapers, excuse me, the leapers is web knights, the jumpers. Uh, if we took the big arms of the jumpers and we put them on those damn uh, stalkers, we literally would have like a one to one copy of what those uh, things look like, which is why I spawned both. But uh, I had to tweak the issues, uh, not the issues, I had to tweak the medical and the ballistics slightly to uh, recreate the ballistics we had in the first mission after the ace update, but I think I got it pretty good. Uh, you should expect to see me spam the shit out of everything, though, once we get into certain areas, but let me make sure my execution script is on. Yeah, so this will recount the unit count, because I have a feeling we're going to hit that. Yeah, good news is I'm not seeing the desync right now, but I'll call it when I see it. I That's honestly think it's because it's tied to other servers, though, in, like, its box. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just going to end up going to find it. I just already guessed stuff that's broken. Yeah, but I could reload my gun, like, a few times without losing my magazine. It, it's random, so... If you reload it another hundred times, you'll probably lose another. Sam's talking about a bug, and he's claiming it's only because of the Ace update in RHS, where if you reload your gun constantly, it'll sometimes eat your magazines. I'm disagreeing with him on that in the sense of it's not a new bug. That bug has always existed and has never been fixed, and it's just the game glitching out on your inventory. Uh, I've had that on and off for a few years, which is why I don't rapidly reload my gun. And then there's not really any instance where you would need to rapidly reload your gun unless you load the wrong magazine, but, I mean, that's a quick fix, and that doesn't eat the mag. It's when you just constantly tap the R key. Speaking of, we're up here, so... What do we want to do? I've got them all custom made right here <laughs> for funsies. Roger. Roger. I'm not sure they heard that because of the echo. Empire just had a weird little desync spike there. I'm seeing like slight desync chunks. But that could be ruled as player connection. Uh, additional PSA because I just remembered it. Don't walk in front of the These don't matter except for maybe the spotting code. Actually, no, they don't because they're all hard coded to follow that stuff, so that doesn't matter. Anyway, we hear these now aggroing, but you know, just to be safe. Oh, yeah, a lot of people in the first mission did shoot each other on accident because they kept walking into each other's lines. Let's see if that recreates today. Yeah, so there's a little decent spike there, so I'm just gonna have to shoot an email out to Havoc and make sure it's fixed. So, the issue with the AT guns and the Rat Road stuff was more so the fact that statics with crew served weapons, that is an ace issue itself because that's a feature with Ace to be able to break down and actively add new ammo, because Vanilla uh, just keeps the ammo tied to the turret itself. I believe either, usually it's in the tripod rather than the actual gun. Uh, so that one is an Ace issue, because that feature is entirely added by Ace. Um, but the fact that magazines get eaten, that, that's always been an issue with Arma 3. To my knowledge. Send in go team six. Yeah. Now. The doggos just want pets. You know, Devour, I'm just kind of happy that uh, the mod itself didn't break. And I didn't have to do something crazy to manually kill them all off with an ace update. So, uh, you know, hats off there. Those that don't know, Devour King made the Necrophage mod. And I also use him to make really silly things like emus when I have the finances. But Devour, thanks for the 39 month resub, buddy. Hope everything's going okay with you and the medical thing. 
But, uh, yeah. I still need you to make shit on occasion. Don't die on me yet. Nonetheless, <laughs> hope you keep doing the ops, my friend. Hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. about AI is uh, when they're on an incline they're forced in the walking animation so that gives the players a nice opportunity to actually kill them off get rid of those three I three AI optimize the server where I can uh, I will be covering FNF today I won't be doing day Z tonight though because I have some IRL stuff yeah, we need an emo emo. Maybe one day. All right. You guys think it's horde time? Or should we uh, give them a second? I'm thinking maybe 30 here, but I spread them out. On the way. On the way. Welcome. On the way. Yeah, we'll do 35. I'm also thinking I'm going to exclusively use the doggos for this one. Because they're a little more tanky than the uh, jumpers. And the jumpers have a bigger hitbox. Anytime toward time, if you're evil enough. I agree with that, but... I am trying to build a little bit of an experience here. So, you know, when they get hit by the horde, I want them to feel the horde. Just like the last mission. Helps if you don't miss. Tracers got turned off. There we go. Oh boy, Devour. You know, I don't even want to know. I do appreciate that they're shouting at each other to watch friendly fire. That's a good call. The last group of five coming in, so they should be okay. We'll have a few groups of five patrolling down there. The reason I'm spawning them in groups of five, though, is that was the sweet spot I noticed while testing server side. Uh, once you spawn a bit more than five, then the server does seem to have a slight desync spike when you do it, but anything less than five, you don't have that spike, so you know, that's the most you can spawn at once. Crazy mad scientist devour, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I would love to create an ideal list of additional things to add to Necrophage, because I know Web Knight's too busy with his own stuff. But all of that is going to require at the very least a few hundred dollars worth of uh, coding expertise. But Devour, since I have you here for a second, it would probably be, what, like 300 to $500 per getting a new asset coded in this game, right? And that's if you had the time, because I know you're working on another project right now. And I'm excited to see when that one comes out, but... Damn, I mean, Tyranids would be nice. I know those are being worked on by someone else, but they've been worked on for years upon years, and they're still not out. Maybe some uh, Dead Space stuff would also be nice. <laughs> uh, we could probably run a poll in my community to see what, uh, what specifically we would like to have put in, but, you know, some good thoughts. Graboids. Graboids do exist already. There is a mod for Graboids. I just have never used it because I don't know how we would fight those. Ass blaster. <laughs> I 
go for some Slaneshi Tamanets. Just run up and absolutely eviscerate the hell out of you. <laughs> oh, one day. Bravo gets the high ground. Bravo gets the high ground. Yeah, they're on the ridge though, so they're gonna have trouble pathfinding up to them, which will slow them down enough for them to get killed. You already see them kind of getting stuck up here and forced to slowly crawl up. I do appreciate the machine gunners actually taking their pistols out rather than waste it on these small groups. You know, I wonder from up here, you might actually, I can see some of the stuff out there, but I know that that's what it is. I mean, from here, it might just look like a tree or something. as either one of the cars or a blotch of blood. It just explosives to kill graboids. Well, we'll see what makes it on the November document. I mean, we're approaching the second half of the month soon, so possibly by next day's e stream, not today, but next week, we can have another op doc out for November. I don't know why. There's some stuff I'd like to do, like British versus Zulu. There's a few other uh, mutant or horror ops I'd like to do. And then, of course, there's the ops I gotta let my player base actually pick and see what factors in. RCXD is being grab boys. But yeah, again, October's main goal for the next few weeks is to jam pack the weeks with ops so I can catch up with everything that I've owed since August. And then we can just rely on the campaigns we want to run with the training dock, maybe another player driven one, and then, uh, you know, everything on top. On, let's go, let's go. That should give us plenty. And then I'm excited because we're going to have, hopefully, have some new batches of DayZ servers by the end of the month with the uh, Frostline update or whatever it is. And that should drum up some interest. Oh, slowly but surely. Right now we're just in a little bit of a catch up period. I'll put a few small groups down. It's kind of pointless to do a main attack at the moment because they're just going to utilize the rugged terrain here to their advantage. You already have one stalker tracking them. Also, this will only make sense to devour anyone else that uses these assets. I had to turn off the psionic attack of the stalkers to explain to all the rest of you what that means. If you're alone uh, and you're within no one's line of sight, let's say this guy was back here and no one was looking at him, uh, there's a default chance that that thing could knock you unconscious. I turned that off for obvious reasons. Because if you know, we're dealing with hundreds of them at a time. <laughs> They're going to literally be able to just pick people off that aren't in lines of sight, and then all of a sudden, everyone gets swarmed. I think I have one more Emu War off IO. I think that's the uh, cursed one for World War II. Yeah, that desync spike again, so that's just all the more reason why I got to contact our uh, server overlords. We, we've done a few Australian emu wars. I use uh, GOS Nadejahoud. Nadejahoud, that, that, that's the one with the N and then the apostrophe. It's like Digin Hound or something. It's just a rugged terrain with no buildings. I use that for African stuff. I use that for Outback stuff uh, in Australia. That's my go-to if I need like a, a dynamic op with no buildings and just a bunch of terrain. But uh, I think we've done Emu War on that one once or twice. I even made a bunch of custom assets for the first one we ever did. It was pretty fun. But yeah, I would say at least throughout the years, we've always had some periodic op concepts of, uh, you know, things that we let return. They've already killed 110 of these. Good God. 
I think last time we got that up to, what, 1,500? <laughs> yeah, that ain't bad. But now they're going in. On the way. Copy that. Solid copy. Roger. Roger. Solid copy. On the way. Yeah, so the hole's right there. So I'm going to periodically put things around. They didn't make it up to where the recon team was in time, so there might be a possibility where they skip over it, which I think the op would still be doable without the small bit of resupply down there. It's just meant to top them off. But this is where it's going to get messy. Because now they're going to be engaged in CQC. Oh, sir, We're going to start with a few groups, but eventually it's going to be a large swarm of them. Look at the macro here. So now we're starting to have the rest of them react. Is this a Zeus Dungeon Master type of thing? Yes, Dodge. Uh, er, Dodger, that's it, my bad. Basically, I dynamically control the scenario. I've made everything beforehand as well. And uh, the rest of the people you're seeing here are all individual players. And I've been doing this for about eight years. What, what, what? Now the main horde's coming. I'm gonna reinforce it a little bit. On the way. This is where we're gonna start seeing the uh, an example of what I want for the end of the scenario. Yeah, we're not trying to kill the players just yet. Unlike my predecessor that always seemed to want to do that. They're coming over there. Some would call this DND. I would call it babysitting, but. Let's all agree to disagree. <laughs> we do owe a few Stargate Ops. I'm just kind of holding out for... Um, we're giving that entire campaign a break because we ran eight of them. And I still owe two more, but I decided to pause it after that ship breach. But, God, it took me, what, 12 hours to custom make that Hatak? Five floors? That was pretty dope, though. And then the... Uh, almost a friendly fire incident right there. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, so there's a big group right there, but now we're engaging in real CQC. Again, they struggle a bit on uh, inclines, but it's letting the players have a bit of a balance control here. Right now I'm working on Undead Assault 3 though. That'll come back on uh, this coming Wednesday, but I'm gonna add all the features I wanted. So this part, it feels heavier than the previous one, but it's not as heavy as I can do it. I do appreciate the PPSHs though, they're going fully on uh, semi-auto. They don't want to burn any ammo. But yeah, Stargate will probably come back, if not November, definitely December. It just depends on what other mission concepts come up. Hell, if we run out of ops by the end of uh, October, I might bring them back a little early and then hopefully get the other two on the uh, rotation funded. You know, that's a great question. That would be a Devour King question because he's the one that made the mod. Uh, Devour, if you're still here, can you give us the inspiration of um, how you actually came up with the stalker models? Because I don't know on the top of my head. Perch the setup. Bobby got shot in the back. Oh, did Bobby get friendly fired? That's that's a very Bobby thing to do. He's our local village idiot, and I love him so much. All right. So the hole's right here. Everything in that wave got aggroed. Put these guys down. I'll keep the bodies down for now. I need to delete them, though, when I do another spawn wave. I might do some far groups to come in as they actually get on top of the hole. Maybe like two or three more groups on top of the hole itself to show it is active, but then we'll let them come out and then we'll hit them. But yeah, you can see it's starting to come. 
hopefully with this wave it creates more of a concave so it's not a complete frontal assault they have to also get left and right P939, I remember that conversation now. One of them just got hit. He got hit again. You can tell by the blood splashes. They can survive a few hits, but if they get swarmed by a few of them, then they're then they're in trouble. And that'll knock them unconscious. And if they're unconscious and they take a few more hits, then they can be insta killed. I think we'll do a pincer attack once they actually get on top of the position. But I'll let them maneuver a little bit because we're clearing this in waves. We're at 235 now in terms of enemies killed. And that number should stay on variables of five because we're spawning them in uh, groups of five. Yeah, JY, it's definitely going to make pay for pain a bit more interesting. I'm considering um, adding a few more perks like discounting Blinko. Because I know we already added uh, site discounts at a certain point, but I might add a Flinko thing too. Alright. Oh god, those things are loud. So how the hole works is you put an explosive in it, it's going to destroy an invisible gas pump which creates a fire effect and then a trigger basically unhides a crater texture in front of it. Cut the fighting here. I want to we'll create that pincer attack. It just gives them time to go in and assault the hole, but if they're not careful. There's the charge down. He hasn't set it yet, but we got the, the units right on top. That's a slight decent spike. They just set it, I think, for a timer. Now they gotta move, but they still gotta be uh, organized here because if they don't. Empire, I think, just got shot in friendly fire. Pulls down, fire effects, and it's sealed. So I use that same script in my Starship Trooper Ops, where if we need to plug bug holes, that's what I use. It's simple and it's efficient. The only thing I've modified on it over the past few years was uh, taking the gas pump and lowering its health to like 20%. Something that won't get cooked off by grenades, but will still, you know, it's more easy to detonate the hole. Had someone run into someone else's line right there. And there it is again. Dr. Boom runs by like Panda shot him. I think they got him, yep. But we've gone from them staying on a ridge and being okay to uh, they get hit a few times, so we're scaling the difficulty as they continue. But they've earned themselves a little bit of a breather till they get to the next section. Here, let's take a random player. Hard copy or deep copy, whatever you want, uh, on his kit, and then we look at his inventory, and he only has a single magazine. <laughs> He's got some machine gun ammo, though. 
So that was this player, and he's pulling the shovel out. Let's go ahead and grab Zombie. Place him down. He's got five mags left, and he still has a few grenades. So again, they're low on ammo. They'll get a little bit of resupply up here because you can just walk up and you can pick up the uh, magazines. Or they might completely miss that, and then it's going to be a real fight for that resupply because some people will start running completely out of ammo. Well, deep copy is the coding term, and yes, this is a one-life op. The reason other people died in the um, first mission was, uh, I think, either a friendly grenade or an AI grenade accidentally knocked a few people. These might, okay, yeah, they might completely miss the resupply, which is funny. Like, they might notice it as they're crossing up here, but, I mean, again, they've earned that breather. I'm going to delete everything down here to keep the... Uh, keep the frames okay and if they're coming back on that route they're not going to revisit this area that was only all there in case they wanted to like actively pass through it but they're going to take the ridge which is also smart because that gives them a better uh thing but we see a an example of the enhanced movement glitch just like spamming the enhanced movement button to scale the mountain i'm gonna be honest i i know there's a patch for it with the uh the rework mod but there's just something so nostalgic, because that's what I used to do, you know, eight years ago when I was more of a player of this game. And it's what I still do if I can find it. But it's one of those rare things that, in my opinion, for a PvE game, it does not take that much away. Like, you just actively scale the mountain quicker. How would you run a convoy you're struggling? Um, put them all in this or this formation and if you really need to force it careless for hold fire but convoys are one of those really finicky things in this game especially if you're trying to put like custom units in a vehicle they then won't drive the vehicle because they're not catching on about taking the bits it's annoying I'm here. I see nice. the scout team. Yeah, right? we're not. All yeah, right. We'll get a chance. We're going to have a, a wild maneuver here, but... Yeah, it's not <laughs> forced to I guess. Yeah, so I think he sees the, uh... One of the vehicles over there, so maybe they'll go and check that out. Yeah, you got to be a Skyrim horse. It's great. I got it. Don't even worry about it. 80 meters up this hill. Okay. Well, let's follow that. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we can't break the laws of physics in the real world. All right, they've had enough of a break. Roger. I think I just heard enemies. I hear audible keys. Uh, Bravo is all here, formed up, no casualties. Well, it's all because we're well, Let's start moving again, then. Right. Goats do break the laws of physics, and it's really funny to watch them do it. They're dead. That would probably well, be a resupply. Yeah, that's the recon team. Right, hold up. Alpha Bravo. That is your, ammunition, Stanley. Yeah, they see the ammunition on the ground. <laughs> the magazines with their binos. Bravo's here. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so what what are your guys' ammo looking like? Uh, uh, my MG. MG's My fine. MG's still good. I see a fifth. Uh, I think the riflemen are running a bit low, but apart from that, we're not too bad. Right, right. then we probably need to go get that. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's four bodies. Yeah, I'm gonna make yellow while I'm there. I mean, there's no one's died yet. Uh, I've been light on the spawning because I've been letting them get some distance because there's no more holes in this location. Here we go. You know. I think this is going to be a really cool scene. Run to that resupply, boys. You're about to need it. That is precious ammo, dude. You should not be wasting it like that. It's an ugly planet. A bug planet. Oh, God. 
They can't climb the hill. Save your ammo, Sam. Save your ammo. <laughs> They're making a smart decision, though, using the terrain to their advantage. I just thought it would be funny to put this group down. So they can either bypass it and risk not having enough ammo to go through or come over here and grab what they can, which, I mean, I made sure I put a, quite a few magazines. I think it's like six or eight. And then additional machine gun magazines for the DP. And then there's one uh, guy with... Oh, those drum mags. Stay here. Yeah, because they're on a steep incline, they don't run. Oh, someone's starting to get a uh, on more even terrain for a bit, but it doesn't last too long. <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. Get out along the ridge. They didn't come back yet. We they never left. Oh, okay. Well, I'm fine. All right, let's go to resupply then. We have the oh. special ready. Now, what's the they do have alternate running on, so they do have that other uh, run feature, which I gave them on purpose if they need to quickly reposition. But, you know, Solid copy. Copy. it's days like these the where mercy really isn't in my vocabulary. Why does this give me ATF training vibes? <laughs> Jesus Christ. JY. Pages, huh? If you have oh, there's security. security. Yeah, security. Yeah, security. Yeah, uh, but there's ammo on the ground. I think you can also pick the gun up and there might be a magazine on it. Oh. Okay, I'll take the dinner plates, but I need some more other ammo. Oh, Morton, there's um, yeah. dinner plates, I think, refer to the DP-27 mags, but those are the two assistant. Oh, that was the DP-27 gunner. This was the squad leader slash submachine gunner. Yeah, I can't even up anymore. Make sure yeah, the there's gonna be right guys. Yeah, if you use, use A, if you use A, well. your individual inventory. Hey, make sure to grab the ammo from the gun itself. Make sure your ammo is green. Yeah, they're gonna pick this if thing clean, have... man. And they got a few people up here looking around, they hear them. I also set these guys as aggro range to much larger than usual, so they will actually run down dynamically. And then we got a few from, uh, what they killed earlier. Right, everybody well, grab what you can. Yeah. Literally grab time. everything we can reach. Yeah, the PPSH guy is up here, and it looks like oh, one yeah. of them's gonna... If you're right, the deep, deep yeah, by me. The hey, you too. Someone hey, ripped you the mag off of the gun already. If you can go grab... Uh, go uh, team team six. Sixty-six months. It's spooky time. Yeah, I know. thanks for the sixty-six month resub, buddy. I hope you keep enjoying the operations. I do hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Oh, here they come. Yeah, they're here. Let me get out of your way. A lot more. I mean, I have 10 boxes on here. Look back here. So, PPSH has been fully stripped, except for one, maybe a partial. The riflemen have been fully stripped. Right, if that's everything we can get, let's just start going again. We need to get these. Most of uh, the bodies have been completely stripped. They're just having trouble picking up some of the gear, which happens. Sometimes it's a item issue, but that should give them enough to uh, hopefully move through, mainly with the DP 27s. That's what's going to really save them. And then just cautiously moving up. 
the actual resupply here. Yeah, that should be enough, and if it's not, then oh well. And then we have a flare gun. Now you're probably wondering, why do we have a flare gun? Well... It's time to start letting time go. I need to time the uh, time of day changing. Between them moving to that supply point to get the flare gun. Timing everything else. Just making sure everything's dynamically following. You can kill the one you can get close. Yes, they have eyes and chuckleheads. Right, move that group over there. That's out of their line of sight. All of those guys I'll remove. We're going to be a bit over 400 now. I'm going to keep this in a position where I can see it, and we're starting to see the sun really starting to fall, and the moon's coming out. We'll lower that down to five. Come on, buddy, go eat him. Oh, you're dead. So, let's give him a warm welcome. On the way. Put a few more ahead of him, but again, not have too many big, big groups. Let them keep dynamically scaling, because they still have quite a bit to go. Alpha, get to the to fire. This is dope. Right, let's start moving again. Up. All right. This is where they gain ground, the and way. I slowly Run. make things go into nighttime. Understood. On the way. Start removing all the bodies out of their line of sight from behind. And we can remove all the stuff back there. I'll keep that group up there. It's a medical. What? They shoot each other again? Lovely. I'm a sniper. I'm a sniper. I'm a sniper. I'm a sniper. What are messy? <laughs> Put the enemy back into their hole. Right. 
Though I will be honest, I'm terrified to put their infection forms against anything that runs custom skeletons, because I have a feeling that's going to break the server. minute mark. Yeah, this will probably be a 90 minute mission. Gives me a little more time to prep for FNF. Yep. Right there. Hopefully, JY. Maybe we'll get lucky. Uh, I'm trying to debate where I should put the next group on them. I'll let them have that little opening fight. I need to extend. We'll put that back up to uh, eight. Keep draining time. It's the same monster every time because there's only one. Um, but I have something to make this more interesting for the end. And you're about to start yeah, seeing it. Smart officers do that. It's fading a bit fast, but I'm gonna adjust it for this main fight and then we'll go from there. No, it's not like the zombies in Necrophage that have the green glowing eyes in the dark. That would be pretty cool, though. Your favorite op I've ever done? Um, or my favorite op? Um, I don't really have a favorite. I have many favorites for many reasons. Go ahead and remove the stuff in the back. Huggy's gifting a sub and goes to. Just gonna call him Bazu. I'm so sorry. I'm bad at uh, pronunciations, but hope you can join the operations. Hope you get a nice kick out of the scenario. Atlas, you're in time for the uh, the climax of this fight. Which will be in a little bit. Roanoke was pretty good. And the fact the player base went into a firing line and actually made me work for trying to kill them all. I'd love to do a Roanoke style op again. And New, Hor yeah, New Horizons giving us up to JY as well. Thanks so much. Hope both keep joining the ops. Hope you get a nice kick out of the scenario. Wow, they cleaned that out quick. Copy. Copy. Roger. And advance time a little quicker. But as soon as it gets a little more dark, I'm going to stop it. Slowly, I'm noticing everything darken. The fun thing about this is, uh, with how the terrain is starting to shift, it looks like the animals are getting, or the creatures are getting more aggressive. I'd love to do the XCOM project again, but that probably won't come again until either December or the next year, because there's been a lot of extra uh, stuff that's been added to run an XCOM style scenario. I'm gonna 
have a big wave come in and then that's gonna be the last thing that comes in till they hit the resupply, then we're gonna really send the time acceleration up and have it darken very quickly. Who said they were out of ammo? Are you fried or are you just out of No, 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 I was just out of the mag. You're talking about that one-off, yeah, that we did for the Logitech guys. And uh, we were trying to save the Logitech employees because I had a partnership with them. They ended up blowing most of the employees up with the tank round. They told me it was funny as hell, the, the global partner and the staff he was working with, but god damn. That was a funny one to edit, too. I just put all the mistakes down. And then the, the alien ship they shot down squishing ground command with the bloodlust mod. Yeah, that was that one was also pretty wild. I have too many favorites. It's just doing this for so long. I don't always remember them unless someone gets my brain jogging. It's like I have dementia. Alright, a little bit more. Copy that. Understood. Copy that. Roger. Roger. Okay, maybe more than a little bit, but you get my point. Yeah, that one was like 2018. 2018 or 29, it was definitely before COVID, which was four freaking years ago. But yeah, no, I think that was 2018, 20, um, no, 2018. If not, maybe 17. But no, 2018 was definitely the height of my popularity. That's when all the partnerships and all that shenanigans started. Good times. Yeah. Also the height of, I would say, TSB. side of things. Alright, so we're gonna start coming from the right flank. Uh -oh. No one's shooting! a year, uh, yeah, six years would be 1,500, give or take. All right, we're at 6.05, and there's another group of five there, so 6.10. I'm going to try to get it to another 1,500. Now we make this bitch dark. Yep, player. That's the player gun. No, this is the flares. Now we're going to prep a few things. First thing I'm going to prep in this little break. about to grab. It's in my little script thingamajig. That's for later. Now the real fun. On the way! On the way! We'll go! Understood. 
Understood. On the way. Understood. Copy that. Roger. Uh, on the way. Right. Solid uh, copy. We'll go. We'll go. Understood. On the way. Copy. Roger. Uh, copy that. Copy. Copy that. Medical box in the middle. Oh man. Stanley, did you acquire any? Now the real fun. Does anyone in Alpha have the flare? Sam has the. Me and Sam have the flare. All right. I'm gonna have that thing fly default pattern. Okay. Uh, Morgan, if you ever need. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's not really. He might actually dynamically take off because that is a, uh, a runway. But for now, I want him to establish a holding pattern. Quick test I want to do. All right, cool. That script's working. Oh, boy. My interface is going to start degrading. <laughs> Uh, and then Carol's old fire. Anyway, Just let the games begin. I have an improved flare mods down to make them a little better. Now, the episode had it being done the morning after, but that wasn't cinematic enough for me. Great. Yeah, so they all got a full resupply, so everyone has a fair chance. Morton at 79. Get them off of it, cover up. Oh, God. That is terrifying. That is actually terrifying, and they don't realize they're being flanked yet. Oh, they're about to, though. change it out for the Mosin and the Gaunt and everything.
I'm keeping the pressure from every angle. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, bomber's in a decent position. They're trying to advance, bless their hearts. Game master. I don't apologize. Anyway. He got eaten, and that. Oh, he had one of the DP 27s, though. Uh oh. Oh, God, I can't see. Alright, alright, fuck Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. him rifle butting it. I'll let them gain a little bit of ground. close to one of the spawn holes here. It's just whether or not they find it. <laughs> just keep shooting until you can illuminate. Jack. Oh yeah, no, he'll be fine. All right, we've breached a thousand. Yeah, so one of the holes is all the way over there. To start actually spawning them over to the holes to try to tip them off on where they are, and the third one's up there. Yeah, it's going. 
terrifying. <laughs> somewhere high after they uh, take that one out. How long will the ammo last? That's the real question. to be in the tail, man. close to this one up here, so I'm just going to exclusively be spawning from the holes themselves now. Go ahead and remove those from play. She just got hit. And the flares just ran out. Oh, I wish I could drag one of them underground. That would be pretty nice, wouldn't it be? There is the Tremors mod with the Graboids. So that's me with my illumination on, but yeah, now they're putting up anything and everything that they can. Credit where credit is due, though. They are doing a good job. <laughs> the darkness that comes in, man.
What the fuck? Why did that just happen? Yeah, the, the Op 4 plane disappeared. That wasn't part of the script. Okay, well, I mean, it's an easy fix. We just have to... that hole in. Understood. So they actually caught one of them, which is quite nice. between here and there they'd also have these we'll go. I just want to spawn them closer so they pass to them yeah, I don't have, most don't are have down to shovels over. man yeah, if you're stuck yeah, I've got no ammo so I'm probably going to die not with that attitude if you're going to live Alright, so we got like four or five left on reserve. Alright. They can run out of ammo and they can run out of flares. And when I notice that happens, then, uh, well, the one thing that will illuminate them is the bombing run flare. That'll, <laughs> that'll be interesting, to say the least. I think 40 white flares and 10 red and 10 green. Might have been 20 green, I don't know. But each flare, I think, lasts about 20 to 30 seconds. So take, what, 60 and divide it by 30. So they have 30 minutes worth of flares, technically, as long as they looted them all. Well, they're still using some white ones, too. Like I said, this is an impossible task. They're not supposed to win this. They're supposed to, like, literally try to get up a hill, have a glorious last stand, and then, you know, I put the bombers in. They don't know that. For all I know, they're going to get carpet bombed.
I put my tracer script back on. It's fighting me. This might be the time. And then hold on. I really should have put an invisible marker on those holes. Bobby's running with the cooked grenade! <laughs> Bobby! <laughs> Bobby! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Freaking Bobby! is now in the AO. They're gonna run to put the last explosive on. You see him eating minor now. I didn't add the underscore. It's fine. Need to route him on another pass. back for another run. At least the flare gun guy is still alive. Good God. Understood. Solid copy. Come on, finish your turn. Didn't reload him. Oh, I forgot that damn underscore. 
now it's manually reloading his weapon. That's going to take a second. Someone got direct hits right on the majority of the group. I think I deleted my Time Excel module, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, set this up. Atomic trying to hold out with what ammo he has. Might get eaten. But on the bleeding. There is still a medic. And I still got one pass. Right there, they're right behind you. Yeah, I think, but let's go to them, I guess. Fab 250s, that's all I got. I didn't reprogram it with any other bombs. Plus, I didn't want to be super duper big and kill people, so. to come over here, I guess. I'll call the bombers off. I think, I think that's enough. There we are. Sorry. Have I got to blow something out? 
Oh, oh, so still a bar. Uh, there might still be yeah. one more hole. I don't know. Yeah, I did. Wait, 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 wait. I only have two bombs. Oh, bullshit. Uh, he's he's still, still alive. <laughs> we can head back to Reese's Hole or we can try and. Made it. Anybody got any ammo? Give it to me now. Oh, my fucking Christ. Alright. Well, that went well. Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, uh, I took the ending and I decided to make it a little more interesting for a larger group of people. Uh, I was expecting to try to make you guys last stand. Instead, you actually got, I think, one out of the three that were out there. Uh, one of them you ended up walking past, but that's because, you know, there was a massive group of them. And then you were... Actually, no, you got two. Um, you got the second one that was the furthest out. Uh, and then the first one was right in front of you. So actually, if you managed to catch that one, which was, I think, only like 20 or 30 meters to your right as you were moving through that main forest, you would have actually completed this, which I wasn't expecting. But GG, yeah. well played. We can the assume bombers the bombers got the uh, the first that one. That was really cool. <laughs> God damn. So how right. many people lived at the end? Uh, I think bombers. seven. Seven bloody hell. Which was more than I was expecting, personally, but hey, shit happens. Um, only other things I have is op tomorrow at 12.30. Uh, I think I'm going to do the next training on Sunday morning, uh, just so I can open up more time for stuff on Monday. Uh, and then the collab thing for tomorrow, there's been a post about that. Feel free to uh, slot yourselves if there's room, but uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get all that sorted, because again, with the two weeks of delays, I'm just going full send for Arma. Uh, ground, feel free to say your piece. I will be back in a second. All right, I'm going to wrap it up here uh, just because I need to now uh, send an email over and, uh, you know, get things sorted with the server. But, uh, yeah, get that done in time before tomorrow stuff. But, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. Enjoy the rest of the day or night. We'll be back in an hour for Friday Night Fights. And otherwise, cheers and have a good one.